Super Gornas. Uh, let's see. I can get. I got a whole bunch of collectibles. So I can unlock shit in the ship, which gets me upgrades and whatnot. I can do that by going. So I don't really care for that. I want tangible, physical rewards. Versus cosmetics. That I probably don't need as much. Those things on the bottom, on the other hand, yes. These will make me statistically better, or stronger at least. faster rates I'm gonna go for this health is good I do I do like the hub here because it adds a whole lot of personality to the world a bit of world building especially on the humorous side when you go to the Doom Slayer's little geek den. But uh, it's not its not intrusive either. Like, if I really just wanted to go straight A to B in terms of mission to mission, I can. I'm, I'm, I'm deciding to go around and mess around a little bit, but that's my decision too, and people do not have to do that. There we go. Sweet. I think I have one more, so I can't really open much. I believe most of these require two. Maybe some require more? I believe they all take two. Yep. Okay. So, let me get this thingy. The Ballista. I thought that was going to be the uh, BFG. Sure as hell looks like it. Codec entry. Da, 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 da. Arsenal. For Sentinel Marksman. It is, said in it is said in Sentinel Battle Lore that a single battalion of archers defended the walled city of Il Ilkana? Lakana for 10 days and 10 nights, armed only with their ballistas. A precise weapon, the ballista fires a twin beam of superheated argent, vaporizing its target on impact. So I think this is the equivalent of the, um... Shit, I don't even know the name of it. It was, it was a big old laser thing you had in the last one. So big old laser things are cool in my book. I need to get back up there. Alright, and on to the mission, I guess. Maybe it's just the areas I'm in that are well lit, but there seems to be less use of dark shadows. This one's definitely a bit more on the brighter side. And in terms of being literal, <laughs> not, uh, not tone, this is still definitely dark. Not morbid as much as comical. Of course, the last 1% takes the longest. 
as is tradition. Challenges. Let's see. Acquire a weapon mod, complete both secret encounters, and perform three different glory kills on pinkies. I'm going to imagine the ones I have to do are let's do one from the front, the back, and then probably an aerial. That'll probably work. Does this use the same type of ammo? No, it does not. Wait, I think these do actually use the same. Let's see. Want to make sure I don't miss anything. Shit. Yep. Damn it, that was dumb. Not a pro gamer move. Let's see if I can get this challenge going. Okay, so it does use the same. I don't know, I'm pretty content with my freaking uh, plasma rifle, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm pretty damn happy. But good try on you. Oh yeah. There we go. What the fuck? I don't know, still doesn't seem as useful. Don't be sticking with this for the time being at least. See, I can latch onto him with this. Let's see. Shit. Uh, let's chainsaw you. Out of my way. Switch mods. Shit, let's get. Swap grenades. There we go. Fuck. Hey, damn it. Not timing this shit right. Jesus Christ. Ah. So yeah, I'm definitely adjusting a lot better to the more 
hectic nature. And it is freaking beautiful. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so... I need to make sure to glory kill these guys for that challenge. So no super shotgun for now. And I can't really freeze them. So for this guy, I gotta be a little careful. Okay, maybe one super shotgun bolt. Nope, god damn it. Hopefully there's way more pinkies. Shit. Oh, I missed something. To get to you, I need to go left and blue key card? Something blue around here I need to. Okay, so maybe I'll be coming back here because that's not the only entranceway that's kind of. <laughs> that looks so freaking gnarly. Um. Oh, I missed something over there too. Let's see if I can get back up. A one up. So one up there, I don't know how to get to, but there is a wall there I can punch. Okay, I'm just going to assume that we're coming back here at some point. Because there's all of these... That's what I'm gonna tell myself, at least. Actually... Oh well. Alright, so then... Where am I supposed to... There we go. Bonus damage to flying demons. I already have a pretty decent method of taking them out. This will probably be the one I go with. Alright, and oh sh you know what? I have not been paying attention to my upgrade points. Let's put this on. Alright. Mastery challenge, kill 50 demons with a super shotgun while using the meat hook. That I can do pretty easily. I'll be using it a lot anyway. I gotta open the door real quick for the cats. Oh 
shit. Uh, I wish you could see the dumb look on my face right now. Get this. Shoot your thing off. I do like that they're making um, making it more viable to use a combat shotgun because the grenade launcher is just so much better than it, than it was originally. And it's very useful for taking out uh, enemy armaments, disabling them. Something the super shotgun cannot do. around here there's a secret up top and go up there and around came from that way Oh, there's so many freaking things around here. I don't know how to freaking get to. I'm assuming you get rid of the super gore nest. Everything opens up. I gotta get some feeling because I know it's right there and I freaking want it. And there's a secret up there. But I have to time this. Oh no, that's not a secret. That's where I'm just supposed to go. And the secret is over here. Well, that's cute. Okay. So let's go forward, I guess. Buff totem. That I can do. I can destroy those. Now there's a thing over here. Yeah, let's just go. Running kind of low on supplies. Where's that totem at? Where? Oh, it's over. Can't kill it. Oh, that's already a dead guy. Shit. Oh. Oh, damn it. Should have known. Give me that. Probably shouldn't be doing this in the middle of battle, but. Jesus Christ. Away my options. I hella missed that. Alright, I need to find the right one. That was not the right one, but the upgrade helps. Or the armor. Uh, it's that one. Remember, demon can have a defensive turn. Mortally challenged. <laughs> Guys, easy. 
it'll stop freaking spawning. Alright, there's this thing over there and an optional encounter that I would like to do. That I can't freaking get to. Because the gore nest. Okay. I imagine the optional encounter is also locked off. Oh, this one's actually open. Let's kill this guy. Let's just shotgun you. Oh, damn it. Shit, I'm gonna kill this other guy. Damn it. I need to be faster All right Oh there we go I think I got it Just around the nick of freaking time. Let's double check to see if this opened the thing. I don't believe it did. Nope. Fuck. Yellow gore key acquired. Didn't know there was such a th such a thing as gore keys. And I'm gonna go double check because I really want that freaking door to open. That's where I came from. I also came from over the. Oh, yeah, that, that stuff was all locked off. Earth is the melting pot of the universe. The universe. There we go. This would actually be very useful for the. Um, challenges, so I'm going to take that. Not necessarily helpful for the rest of the combat, but for that specifically because it's timed will make everything easier. Okay, so I guess that thing was never going to open, which makes it concerning for the other stuff. guys really do not freaking get along. Let's see if I can get you. Shit. There we go. Jesus. That thing takes way too long to frickin' charge. Oh. We got power up. Where is everybody? Where's everyone trying to kill me from? Shit.
go. Shit. Let's see. Alright, the challenge. I'm not doing a good job with the challenges so far. Just got the secrets, the pinkies, weapon slide, what the fuck? Acquire weapon mod, I did do that. Secret encounters and glory kills on pinkies. I have not done a single one, but I've only seen a single pinky. Uh, you are an ammo pod for me. And there's a secret down below. Right over. But how do I freaking open this thing? There's another hole on the other side. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, just a full. I do think it's awesome they're using basically how they looked in the original game. That's cool. Oh, there's a hole right there. An open hole. There we go. <laughs> Fucking floppy disks. Um, nothing else immediately, aside from up there. Okay, there's a secret room. But I need the room, and I'm sorry. I'm, I need the key for the secret room, which is somewhere up, which is exactly right up there. I don't know how feasible it is for me to actually get up there from here. Looks like stuff opened up, at least. Because I'm over here now. Oh no, I'm heading the wrong way. Hmm. Oh, okay, so that needs a blue key. That I know. How do I get up to the second floor? There's the here. Oh, was that it the whole time? Am I a freaking idiot? Am I the dummy? Wait, no. I'm not that dumb. So either wait till things open up, or there is some way to get up there from over here. Which I don't believe there is. So we're just gonna say fuck it and keep going. Um. That did something. Oh, did you just, just straight up move me? Okay. Take it, I guess. Just come back for everything. Sometimes evolution just needs a little push. And here at we pushed hard. <laughs> It's so freaking on the nose, and the first game did a really good job with it, and obviously this one did too. They're not demons, they're just mortally challenged. Oh, there's my pinkies. Just, I need to not kill you. But you're making it really freaking hard. Why won't you freaking... There we go. I'm trying to glory kill you. But God damn it. You 
Yeah, I'm gonna load that checkpoint because I really need to freaking glory kill some dudes. You could cheese it a bit in 2016 Doom because reloading checkpoints doesn't do away with your challenge progress. Fucking pinky, stop dying. Let's see. This this skill is useful. Ammo, or I'll go with ammo. Do I just have to have like a freaking war of attrition with the pinkies instead of just killing them? They take so much less damage in the front. This is the heart of the net. It is taking root in this facility. Oh, jeez. Power generator. Reactivating the generator will destroy the nest. Any th oh, that is a minigun. I want that. Rad suit. Recharge your rad suit by finding rad suit refills or another rad suit. I don't believe uh, he's putting this on his own. on top of his other armor. There's a key that I need. And there's a thing right there. You know, let's see if I can upgrade anything because I obviously can. I think he's just in love with friggin' barrels. There we go. Amazing frickin' upgrade. Wait, no, that's for the heavy cannon. Alright, so the mastery for that is 
At least three enemies and a single micro missile volley 15 times. It's gonna be less of a priority for me. Oh, that's bullshit. There we go. There was a thing over there. Let's see if I can do that. As Jesus, <laughs> that's pretty corporate, if you ask me. The UNC they really love that morally challenged line. Oh, there's a thing all the way down there. How do you get them? There's a little hole. There we go. I would kill for those toys. Whoa. Oh, right next to the secret encounter, sweet. Okay, where? That was only a million times chaotic. Another one up. Oh, can I just... Nope, that's blocked off. To need to get back up here. You now have access to the heart chamber. Ooh, the heart chamber. Can get down there also. Come on, Pinky. There we go. One. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh, this is beautiful. And I should have saved some of my upgrades for that, I guess. So I guess that's the only way. And that solves my question of how the fuck do I get over there. Oh, I need to go back for that. Control terminals will need to be manually activated to restore full power. Unlock 
unlocking the left terminal room now. Okay. What's around the bend? Uh, that's closed. Why is that marked down there? Surprise he's just freaking flipping flipping the switch instead of kicking it off or something. It's like we're in frickin' Walmart all over again. If we can avoid working there, for the love of God, please do not. Oh, is that a... Uh, no, but I can do this challenge. Shit. Let's do shotgun stuff. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Fuck. The hell it cornered me. Fuck you and your shields. Not my finest hour, definitely got jumped back into a corner. It's just so freaking hard to even talk during the middle of this game, trying to explain what's going on because everything's moving at a million miles an hour. Let's see, there's an upgrade over here though. There we go. Probably gonna save this for later because it's not upgraded. It's better if use my bullets to just use the uh, assault rifle for now. Oh, I'm sorry, the heavy rifle, not not assault rifle. Gotta let the cat in real quick. All right, back to it. And of course my cat wants to climb across me, right as I'm trying to frickin' do this. Great timing on your part, bandit. Yep, just gonna full-on settle yourself in my lap. Not like I got anything important going on, buddy. Oh, they made the micro missiles just so useful. Probably have to stick to using the turret for bigger enemies. All right, cat, come on. That, that's enough. That, come on, off, off. Don't, don't take the headphones with you. <laughs> Jesus. Hell of a way to let someone know you want attention. Probably would not have been nice to fall in there. Rip and tear, doom eternal. Yep, that's the tagline for it. Shit, there we go. 
Let's not fall in the lava. Take this out. I always did like the uh, challenges they have on individual guns because, you know, getting upgrades for them is already sweet as it is, but then having to earn it by using them in unique ways that actually benefit the mod that you're trying to master is uh, selfie fun. <laughs> you can be juggling like five different ones at the same time, which I am, and it gets a little tough to remember to do all those things in the middle of combat. On top of that, I'm, I'm forgetting to use my freaking flamethrower, I'm forgetting to use my grenades, even though I upgraded them fairly decently. There we go. Speaking of which, do I have anything I can do? Yep, let's finish up my ice grenades. So, oh, even got an achievement for it. Can I jump up here? Or am I supposed to jump over here? God, this makes no freaking sense and I love it. It just knows it's a game. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is definitely infinitely more fast paced than the Halo. And that can be a good and bad thing. I think it works in this case. It's very fast paced, but I like the methodicalness of like a Halo match. Like if someone shoots around you shoots at you around the corner, you're not dead in an instant. You can kinda have time to turn around and change the tide of battle. Let's see. This would be good if I actually remember to freaking use my equipment. But I'll unlock it anyway, not that I'm going to use it right now. There we go. Oh, another pinky. Another opportunity if I don't fuck it up, that is. Alright. Don't shoot him in the tail. Or maybe a little bit. Just enough so that I can glory kill you. God damn it. I am not doing a great job of that. Pinkies just died too easy. Can't go through there. Got a platform through here. That's locked off. I'm gonna bet there's something around that corner. Yep, armor. And a suit. Okay. Here's the key. Here's a thing I gotta hit. So the question is, where does that open to? Is it this door? Yep. Anything down? That's a teleporter. Let's extend my rad suit. It's probably going to drop me in the middle of a freaking million enemies. Oh, you know what? I missed that. I should go back and climb that wall. There we go. There we go. Cool.
God, that thing is freaking cool. Good thing to know that demons value privacy in hell and that they use keys in order to open doors. They're semi polite. Or maybe fearful that, that demons are going to come in their house and fuck their shit up. I don't know if demons have houses. I do not want to judge or make assumptions. Alright. On that left side, I can probably get in. Oh no, the whole thing's closed off. Okay, so that's a solid wall. So how do I... Shit. Come on. There we go. Um... How do I get to you? I will find a way. Actually, you know what? There's nothing over here. Maybe it was something above. I don't know. It's just a freaking toy collectible, but uh, it's just the completionist part of my brain's like, I gotta have it. Got the challenge for that done. I think that's the first one I've actually managed to do. Awesome. So I don't have to worry about that. I've got the destroy the arachnoid turrets. I've got the super shotgun and the assault rifle. So let's do that. know how to do that if I'm being honest I don't even remember how to get back over there aside from where I just came there's a teleporter somewhere probably better off just doing a completely new playthrough of this level <laughs> it's a freaking bunny it's always been a joke since the first game but to see it here in these uh these new graphics is freaking, uh, it's beautiful. Oh, another toy. Mecha Zombie. Oh, and I can reach. Can I? Maybe that's too far off still. Apparently some buildings or floors over there. Oh, you know what? There's a wall over there. I can do that. But I should... But I should grab... One moment. I'm getting a phone call I did not know that I could get through my desktop. And that's very freaking loud. Give me one moment, let me just respond to this real quick. God, that's hella loud in my freaking headphones. I was not expecting that. I did not know you could do that. Thanks, Facebook, for teaching me things on the daily. Okay, no, you're still closed. You're gonna be a fucking dick. And you're still gonna be up there. Um, oh, no, what? Invisible wall? Come on. Sorry, I'm um, texting my, who is basically eventually going to be my mother-in-law, 
Um, she actually works at a grocery store, which is very helpful during this coronavirus pandemic because they're already kind of exposed to people. So there's, so it's safer for them since they're already in that environment to go out and get groceries. So they, they've been very generous and very helpful in, uh, in doing that. I am beyond thankful for their help. Uh, come on, I know I can get it. I'll give it like two solid more tries. God, what is, am I just, I think it's an invisible wall, it doesn't want me to do it. I don't freaking know how to get this thing. Alright, one more try, then I'm giving up. Alright. Yeah, okay, I'm done. What? <laughs> I give up. Fuck this. Uh, Alright, so I need to climb that thing. I'm so freaking mad at you, dude. You got no idea. Ah, you just keep freaking dying too soon. I can't glory kill you if you keep dying. God, this is... I fucking hate pinkies in here. I'm too good at killing them. That's the, that's the problem. Fuck pinkies. All right, challenge room's over there. I do really like the level design in here because it's just encouraging you to constantly go back through areas that you've been through. And you're not gaining new abilities, you know, you're just kind of opening doors. But I couldn't care less because I just get to kill more people. More demons, whatever. Oh, got both of them. Let's see if I can get you. Oh, there we go. No, I already. No, I don't have that challenge. Okay. Meant to grapple him. Come on. Oh, that's cool. All right, next challenge to focus on shotgun and heavy cannon. See what kind of fucked up challenge we have here. Let's get the rockets ready. Oh, this is a good opportunity actually. Out of ammo. Damn it. Did that not count? Barriers really fucking my day up. Fuck 
you and your walls. Too much shit going on. Fuck you, Pinky. Shit. 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 Run. Oh. oh, there we go. There we go. I think I got the challenge. Yep. Okay, that makes me incredibly happy that that's out of the way. Did not think I was going to get it. Kind of funny the Hell Knights in uh, original Doom and Doom 2, you know, they just kind of throw energy balls at you. These ones are just like trying to get it as much in your face as possible. They just slam you. I really don't know how to put into words into words how great the freaking combat in here is. It's it's chaotic, there's so many different enemy types, you're doing challenges, so you're kind of there's so many variables just flying around. Just like, oh, make sure you do uh use a hook shot on here, make sure you do the uh tag three enemies. And then just trying to when you're like trying to manage how much ammo you have, trying to use a chainsaw to get more, it's it's just so much going on, but once you're freaking in there, it just makes so much sense. And I, I am pretty I think it's pretty safe to assume that's the end of the level. Did I miss anything incredibly important here? Uh, let's see. Um, t -t 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 -t. Yeah, I assume this is the end of the level. Actually, no, we have to go back down and activate the thing. This air shaft will provide access to the generator's control terminal. There we go. Nice to know that their keyholes aren't, you know, like a traditional keyhole, just literally a mound of like pulsating flesh. <laughs> but it's color coded, so it's nice. They they they, they put that much uh, effort into it. Okay. Oh, there's actually a time limit. I actually need to dip relatively quickly. Main generator overload. I repeat, main generator overload. 
Alright, nope. God damn it. No real time to mess around here, I guess. Get out of the way, dude. I got shit to do. I can still do these challenges, I don't care. time to deal with you guys calmly yeah my ass I just love the dissonance of the freaking corporate people uh. shit This is just such a step up from the last game. Okay, so I guess I don't get to go back, but I can just come back and do these missions, so that's fine. And I can even do it on harder difficulty, so that's cool. And that's why I like going back through games, you know, play it normal, then do hard, then extra hard, whatever. Especially for games where they let you uh, carry over equipment and levels, whatever. Come on, 1%. Hayden, the guy that frickin' trapped us in hell, but apparently we fought her way back out of. As is tradition for the... For the Doom Slayer. What the hell is he making now? Yeah, I don't know. The Bliss is cool for long range. But it just takes so long to charge up. And the Plasma Rifle's already pretty damn good, as is. So I'm not really sure, um... If it's all that useful, all things considered. Let's get these things going at least. Thank you for your over for your souvenir penny from fucking Disneyland, dude. You know, he just carries them in his back pocket. No big deal. Like one of those giant fucking coins in Donkey Kong 64 or some shit. Oh, please tell me that's the BFG or something. Something really cool. Ooh. Empyrean keys. Oh, that's something else. Oh, that's from the uh, Doom Trial thingies. Do I need that in order to unlock the BFG? Is that is that our deal here? Okay. Yeah, the hub isn't that intrusive. It's it's very nice environmental storytelling. Show off that the Doom guy is actually a fucking geek, not just a dumb murdering machine.
Dr. Samuel Hayden, leader of the human resistance on Earth. Last time I checked, he was just he was just in this for the fucking Arjun energy. He's willing to sell out humanity for the sake of fucking power. He was he was kind of your companion last one, but he screwed you over in the last second. So uh, we'll, we'll see how things go with him. He's he's not even he was a human. His body died, so he transferred his Dr. consciousness into a robot. Well, the resistance fucked up, because here we are. The Deceiver Samuel Hayden. Okay, so I guess he's not really as bought into with the whole corporate ease bullshit going on. So he's being outcast. So he's rational, but he still fucked us over because he wanted the uh, Argent Energy and power. So that's on him. Shit. Come on. I'm not. There we go. This challenge is proving quite easy to do. Just want to try to get this one over with. Ah, shit. Uh, three guys. That one did not count for whatever reason it appears. This guy is too freaking fast. I did not check the cha Oh, challenges aren't even available, so I'm not actually fucking up. What if I... Jesus. Oh, secret. <laughs> it's freaking nipple... Fl fucking, uh, rest flaps and everything. Why'd I go to nipples when I first fucking thing? Fuck you, pinky. Oh, you know what? You're a dick. You can die. Ooh. Uh, this is just pure fucking beauty. Shit. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Shit. this in a while. Okay, that's actually pretty damn strong. Takes a bit too long to do for my taste, but... Jeez. Didn't even mean to do that one, to be honest. I think it's because I dashed into him. Buddy. Oh, this that gun looks cool. Uh which one? There's the combat shotgun, the 
kind of default weapon. There's a super, which has a hook shot, which is amazing. Uh, heavy assault rifle, which can also shoot little micro missiles, homing ones, which are very useful in here. Uh, haven't used a chain gun much. I haven't upgraded it. Uh, plasma rifle. The ballista, which is crazy powerful, but that meter takes way too long for a game that's this fast. And the rocket launcher. I would say they all look pretty cool. And um, they all got redesigns from the last one. So they, did, they didn't just take the models and just slap them on and say, oh, we're done. They definitely look more futuristic -y in here. The crossbow. Yeah, the crossbow looks freaking dope. It's got freaking energy going through it. It's got, it still has chains on it. It's real nice. It's cooler than just like the regular plasma cannon, whatever it was in the in the last game. Does take up a lot of ammo to use though. There we go. I want to see if I can wipe this challenge out as soon as possible. But you know what? This is going to be a beautiful test case for this. This is for you, George. Swiped out the whole freaking room. Holy shit. Alright, low ammo. Give me more. Just got this challenge out of the way. So I won't have to worry about it later on. There's one guy, two guys. Oh. There we go. Yeah, holy shit, dude. That was freaking amazing. Just take out of the whole room. I would do it again here, but I need to tag people for this challenge. That way my gun becomes infinitely more powerful. Alright, just need to do that one more time. One, two, th three. There we go. Ah, now I don't even have to wait to reload. It just goes. But, let's do this again. I take back anything negative I said about this gun. It still takes a bit to get the charge going, but holy shit. I am in love. Let's dope. Oh. You know what? Let's see if I can actually upgrade it. Where there you are. Charge time decrease. That would be good. I actually have some suit upgrades I can do. Have I ever played Skyrim? I have played way too much Skyrim over the years. That came out uh, in what? November 2011? I originally played it on the 360, then PS3, then PC, and then Switch. So so how many copies do I have? That's, that's one, two, three? Only, only three copies. No, four, because PS3. I've had four copies, and I have, and just in that first month alone, I put hundreds of freaking hours in. Just over the years, just replaying so many times, it's, oh. Don't even get me started on Skyrim. I, I can go off on for days. Let's get some of these fundamentals going, I guess. I already have enough points anyway. Faster weapon switch and mod swap. Cool. But yeah, I, I I love me some Skyrim. I remember for the lo I didn't even beat the main quest for um, until like years after the game came out because I would just constantly fuck around, do side quests, or I'd say, you know what, I'm gonna do a completely new build now. Like I want to I want to do a full archer class. And, and the cool thing about Skyrim is that you can do, like, basically do everything on the same character, but it gets a little harder because the skill points get uh, fewer and far between. Let's do this. Fuck you guys. 
shit, shit. I need to kill dudes right now. Shit. You're dead. Can't really afford to stand still, but gotta do what I gotta do. Shit. This purple ooze is freaking slowing me down. I gotta stay freaking mobile. That's basically your one saving grace in here is the fact that you can move around so fast. So it can't really afford to stop moving. Alright, gotta go over there. There's a secret by there. The crossbow reminds you of the uh, Blood Skull Blade. I'm, I'm drawing a blank on that. I assume that's a Skyrim reference. I, I'm, I'm pulling a blank on it. it. If it's from Skyrim, feel free to let me know. I can even look it up after. Actually, you know what? Let me pull up my browser right now. Let's see. Blood Skull Blade. Yep, it is from Skyrim. You know, I've played a lot of Skyrim. I don't recall ever seeing this. Is this a thing you get from the basement? There's like this uh, voice or something trapped behind a door in the Jarl of Whiterun's castle? And all the and all the hundreds and hundreds of hours over the last nine years, or not nine years yet, uh, almost nine years I've been playing Skyrim, I don't recall ever using this. It does look like a two-handed sword. But the only time I did play with uh, with uh, two-handed swords was I think like my first couple of playthroughs because I was admittedly new to the uh, to the Elder Scrolls franchise, so I didn't really know what was up and up. So I went I just went full heavy armor and uh, and two-handing. It shoots out lasers. What the hell? Oh, that's freaking sick. I'll tell you what, next time I play Skyrim, I am going to have to, uh... I'm going to have to make it a point to get that thing. Whether I spec for it or not. I love these ice grenades specifically because it allows me to fuck up pinkies easily, and I do not like pinkies. What other challenges do I have? I have the shotgun one. I don't think I have any others going on. Let's see. The rocket launcher. I have not upgraded my rocket launcher at all? Really? Okay. Yeah, I guess it's just my shotgun for now. I did a good job with the other stuff. So let's get this challenge out of the way too, I guess. forgot this very specific challenge to get rid of their turrets uh, fuck you God, you're really making me just want to play Skyrim right now. Oh, Jesus. Single blood punch destroys all their armor, make them easier to kill. Well, you know what? I have a blood punch. That is good. I just pelt you with shit. I can actually feel my freaking heart racing right now. 
I know I've gotten significantly more cynical about games since the older I get, the more I know about game design. So it's not incredibly easy to put a big dumb smile on my face the, in the same way that I would as a kid, but it, this is making me feel at home right here. I need to destroy your turret. There we go. Damn it. I love that freaking speed boost I get from this too. Okay, I only gotta do this two more times, I think. Oh no, I'm sorry, that was 4D, not 48. Let's see. A really good Skyrim guide YouTuber, YouTuber is ESO. Look him up, he's really good. You know what? I will... I'm gonna make a little note for myself on my notepad. If it's one th good slash bad thing about me, it is... Let's see. Uh, Skyrim guide YouTuber is ESO. Alright, I've left a note for myself. Have you ever heard of the Death Brand Armor? I believe I have. I can't bring the image or exactly what it does to mind at the moment. Alright, so I'm going to have to call it a stream pretty soonish. I mean, like maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, it's the glowing blue armor. It's the best in the game. I don't believe I min-maxed enough to get it. I will, you know what, let me add that to my note right now. Death Brand Armor. And I'll look up that YouTuber you suggested. Thank you for that. Best in the game. And it's blue. Yeah, I am, I am very compulsive when it comes to note taking. It just helps me zero in and focus on things. Let's see, you know what, this precision bolt actually might be very useful for some of the enemies when my grenade launcher won't, uh, won't be up to snuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm very compulsive with notes and it is admittedly incredibly useful for my job because I have a million and one things I have to just juggle constant. Oh, so it's like a nice heavy shot. Cool. Okay, um, t t wait, does that fire like six bullets at the same time? That's one shot. Okay, yeah, it fires six at the same time. That's, uh, that is why it is so powerful. I'll keep it in my rocket mode for now. Um, but yeah, it's very, I have a whole lot of things at work that are managing and like, it's a lot of video editing, so it takes time for things to render out, to be done. So I can't just sit there and wait 10 minutes for a thing to be done. I gotta make the most of my time. I'm constantly jumping around. So I leave a little reminder for myself, like, hey, in 10 minutes, make sure you grab this file, you make a duplicate, place it in these folders, make a note of it in the spreadsheet. It's a whole bunch of freaking micromanagement that I, I'm fairly competent at. But there's, there's some times where you just forget it that one time. You're like, ah, shit, that freaking sucks over here um let's see george says well i mean i'm level 139 so i guess i'm a nerd on skyrim or dorky you know the way people always explain the terminology difference to me was um nerd implies intelligence and geek is like having geeky hobbies such as video games or whatever not that it really matters. I don't, I don't think anyone really cares too much about the whole semantics of the issue. It's not even an issue. But, um, damn, 139. Like, my issue was I could never get that freaking high because I'd play for a while, I'd do the side quests, and I very, I think I've only beat the main quest, like, maybe twice. Just because I'm like, I don't know. I'll, I'll play it far enough to get the abilities. And, um... 
myself. Play enough to like get the abilities, you know, like some of the uh Why can't I think of the word right now? Dragon did the shouts. I would get far enough to learn like the full Fusro Da and like some of the other stuff. But I wouldn't necessarily finish it. And then once I do all the side quests, I want to be like, yeah, well, I want to make a new character. So I was just constant. Oh, that is a big boy. Jesus. I need my crossbow for that guy. That I fell. That is indeed a big fucker. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. Trickin' thing. I left it in the other mode. Ah, uh, he has a big ol' frickin' laser. Shit. Oh, let's punch him. They'll do something, I hope. Oh, I need... There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a tyrant. Okay, not cyber demon. Tyrants. Even though that's what they're. Oh, no, they go. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, let's cross with these guys. Come on, take the hits. There we go. Uh, low health. I got to. Uh, no, well, my best bet is to chainsaw somebody. There you go. Give me some health. I would really love to use my crossbow right now because it's nice and strong, but I cannot afford to stand still. He's still not dead. He's freaking missing all the freaking skin on his leg and everything. He's only mostly dead. He's got some super shotgun going. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> Try stabbing a couple more times, I guess. Jeez. Oh, that's a tank guy. Ah, uh, shit. Let's see if I can give this guy a freaking blood punch. Fuck up his armor, at least. This is pure freaking chaos, and I love it. Ooh. Jesus freaking Christ. Well, that was intense. Jesus. All right. Looks like there's a building. Okay, I have to go there eventually, so no point to worry about that. All right, sorry. Back to your. I, I saw your uh, your chat earlier. Just you know, a little hectic. Uh, you beat it seven different times. That is about five more times than me. <laughs> Was there a usual kind of build you would go for? Were you a warrior, mage, all-rounder, archer? Okay, how do I get... Okay, so that was to find the key. So we're... 
I'm supposed to get over there somehow. Uh, bow magic light. That is an extremely freaking fun way to play. It didn't even occur to me um, until way later in my uh, Skyrim playthroughs. Like, hey, you know what? Uh, playing with light armor is extremely uh, viable. Makes you faster. You can enchant stuff, but... Oh. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, I had an entire playthrough on uh, PC specifically. I'm just like, you know what? I'm just daggers and... Um, daggers and bow and arrow. And I had a fun time. And there were definitely some tougher spots against uh, against two-handers with heavy armor, but uh, it was a fun time. And even especially if you just go pure mage, it is you, you can die pretty easily, but you can regenerate your health pretty fast, and you can just destroy everything. It's beautiful. Let's see. I don't really need any more of these, but I will take them. So I already chose my preferences on these. See, these other ones are just kind of bonus. I have not used this thing a single time. The rockets are just so good. Oh, they're talking about me. The enhanced strength, speed, and athleticism would indicate otherwise. But we can see from the blood samples that there are foreign bodies present of unknown origin. I cannot, as a contributing member of the scientific community, agree with the assumption by some of my colleagues that he is, for lack of a better word, a god. Oh, I think that's angel, sweet. The right hand of doom here to save humanity from its sins. But I cannot ignore that the timing of his arrival, the identity of his enemies, the fire and brimstone element to this catastrophe we currently find ourselves in has. It, it, it has definitely shaken my scientific resolve. Cool. I'm a god. That's all I needed to hear. Thanks. <laughs> uh. Oh. And I can set a higher level over there? For me? Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, no, I guess I was supposed to use a lift. I just kind of got out of doing that. Uh, nope. Okay. I should I should have just stuck with my first attempt. That already went fine. Alright, so I gotta wait for the... Cool. Ah, should mine these guys for resources. Sweet, only two more kills via this method for the upgrade. Master, oh, what is flaming sword? What the fuck? Is that what it said? Uh, shit, wrong thingy. Flaming Hook. The meat hook will set enemies on fire for a short time, causing them to drop armor from a super shotgun blast. Sweet. I love this gun. <laughs> uh, I love this game. Too much health and shield, so this is just all excess resources. Uh, over here? Oh, I missed stuff. That's a no, no. I'm going back. Can't have that. Other side of the wall. Come on, I can break freaking concrete. I should be able to open a freaking door. Nope. 
How do I get over to you? I'm going to assume there's going to be an open window or something. I am not going to give up on this, though. There's something up there, but that's completely removed. Ceiling? Maybe. I mean, I have a freaking rocket launcher. There's no way this thing should be able to withstand. And yet it does. Freaking indestructible, apparently. Or you know what? Maybe it was something from up there. They need to... Oh, duh. I'm an idiot. There we go. That's much easier. I'm trying to think, like, oh, I gotta jump around the buildings and do some fucking slingshot and everything. No, it was much easier than that. You know what? I don't even have any challenges. I can just kill these, whatever. Alright, let's get this loot magnet going. Oh yeah, of course I can punch it from this side, but not the other. That's incredibly freaking arbitrary. Is there any... Ah, uh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. In regards to, um... Elder Scrolls 6, is there anything that you're looking forward to or you wish that they'll implement? I would say... Especially since it's next-gen and, like, so much of the promise of next-gen is the, um... Is a lack of loading screens. I think that will probably be the biggest game changer. Uh, I ran out of freaking dashes. That's probably just a big one for me. Maybe some new aiming mechanics for the bow. Or hell, I would even like like the quest design from um, from New Vegas would be pretty sweet too. I guess. Granted, that was a different studio, so I don't know how realistic that is. Nice of the janitor to just leave an extra life over there. Subject analysis of Dune Slayer, February 2nd, 2163. Maybe he is a god. Maybe he represents humankind's rage. Their will to persevere, to overcome that which would threaten our survival. He is uncompromising, a relentless being of violence that knows no mention of the hesitation shown by our many leaders and politicians during our time of judgment. Can he overcome them alone? If he can't, we as a species, Got the hiccups right now. all species, will not survive. Cool. While politicians hesitate, the man with the shotgun will save the earth and have a damn good time while he's doing it. By also falling to death. What the fuck? Okay, so I'm already in the building that I was. Okay. Get up back up here. I wish it would have just sent me back up here. Alright, there's a freaking green thingy, which means go into there. I believe I'm supposed to go there either way. Alright, save my dash. Okay, question is, am I supposed to aim for that? Or go all the way over there. Oh, there's a freaking wall over there. Duh. I don't know if I can go through there, but there is something shiny. 
So obviously I'm going to want to investigate. Okay. Yeah, I, I was correct not to try to jump through the frickin' window. Smart move on my part. No one is born a sinner. You have to work hard to achieve success. <laughs> they want you to frickin' sin, that's great. not supposed to jump on top of you? Just land on the bottom, I guess. There we go. I thought I was doing the right thing. They do such a good job with the environments in here. I guess just kind of like regular facilities last time. But this is... This is freaking great. nice that it's at least a lock on now you just kind of zoom in towards them you know what I haven't used this oh that thing is really freaking powerful maybe I should start using you more thingy up there. How do I get up to Okay, so I need to go above, get this thing, then I can probably jump across. Freaking ice grenade, but I don't have it. Uh, that didn't kill him. That sure as fuck did, though. So it's a good thing you guys came over. too many upgrade points and I'm already pretty damn satisfied with what I got. Let's see. What do I want to upgrade? Let's 
got some fundamentals, I guess. That's pretty useful, I guess. Kind of situational. Like if I'm over a pit of lava. out on this shit. Okay. I know where I fucked up, at least. Okay, I need more ammo. I'm probably gonna try to do this. So let's find a victim. There we go. Let's give that another try. This time I'm going to try to shoot some grenades in their mouths. And then take out the spider normally. Well, it won't work on that one, I guess. Fuck. God damn it. Let's just do this. Damn it, damn it. Does that count? Damn it. Alright. Alright. So let's do this. I have to grenade. Freaking caca demon. Use a machine gun on these other two and shotgun where necessary. Alright. Hopefully I can get it this time. Start with you. You're the at one giving me trouble. Shoot a grenade in your mouth. Fuck you. You know what? And let's just do this. There we go. All is freaking right with the world now. That only took forever. Are there no challenges on this level? I kept forgetting to check. Jeez, all those freaking chunks going off and he's still going at it. life behind me. Oh. There's you. Down there. Don't really need any of these, but... Doom Slayer will save you. Your salvation lies with us. 
That's like freaking Walmart telling you workers don't need unions. They are actually bad for you. They'll steal your money. Trust in us, the corporation. Let's see what I can get going here. You're not even paying attention, so this is a damn good time. And that did not rent for whatever reason. Ah, uh, freaking out of ammo. some more. Oh, let's get your thingy off. It's gonna finally get done with that challenge at some point. It's only taking forever because these guys don't show up that much. <laughs> ah, shit. I know, I should have saved that for the pinky. I'm dumb. I'm taking way too much damage. Shit. Chainsaw. Ah, uh, there's just so much shit going on. I should have saved that punch for you. I got something else. Uh, it's still taking too long to charge. Not viable. Maybe I was sitting around cover and no one was flanking me. There we go. Oh, actually did enough. Jesus. Jesus. Anyone else? You? Come on, buddy. Oh, I can't get you with a chainsaw. I can put you on. <laughs> that works too, I guess. Oh, I missed this thing the whole time. Uh, that would have helped. I honestly forget that they're even in here because they don't show up as much. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, this is gnarly. Oh, God. Oh, let's get you. Anybody? OK. 
Okay, so I still haven't gone over there. I did miss something in this other room, though. There we go. Right behind the receptionist desk. Doing some light reading on their breaks. Let's see. I need to get over there. But how? I guess I just jumped down. That's how. Oh, wait, no. Can I land on that? Nope. Nope. See, it looked like a solid surface. So I go through there, it'll put me out over there. Here goes nothing. Whoa. Okay. How do you make an octopus laugh? With tentacles. See, my only problem with that dad joke, and I have no problem with dad jokes, I'm like, would like to think I am the fucking king of dad jokes. But, uh, octopuses have eight tentacles. That's why they're octo. his head down into his chest cavities would never get old. Our trans-dimensional friends shall not walk on tainted ground. Earth must be cleansed. You're fucking nuts. You're even worse than the chick in the first game. Lady, I apologize. It's supposed to be a casual term of endearment, but I recognize that's not how it is interpreted, and it has other meanings. In it. So I am going to make a conscious effort not to use that word, not because of outside pressures, but because people have said they do not prefer it, and I'm not going to be a dick about it. It's not the hill I'm willing to die on. Return of Samuel. Okay, I actually wanted to know this. Destruction of the destruction of the Argent wellspring on Mars meant chaos for planet Earth. Following the loss of communication between Earth and Mars space facilities, the collapse of the Argent-dependent energy grid consumed the planet in crisis. Okay, so during this time, the UAC director Dr. Samuel Hayden suddenly resurfaced on Earth before the AN Council, wielding that which might offer salvation to mankind: the Crucible. After recounting the events that had transpired on the Red Planet, Hayden agreed to cooperate with the AN, providing access to the various UAC facilities on Earth, and by extension, the full range of technologies at his disposal. Paramount amongst these was the Crucible, the last remaining source of Argent energy in existence. So we definitely fucked that up. And uh, now he has a sword. I wonder what happened to the sword. I'm sure we're gonna frickin' find out. 
need more. You wanna just walk over here, bro? You make me walk all the way around. Pinky. Jesus. Oh. I don't really care about these ones, so I'm just gonna pick them at random. This level is taking freaking forever. You know, once I get the next checkpoint, I'm gonna have to call it a stream and say, hey, got, I gotta go do something. Just shotgun you get this over with. Shit. Not mean to go through the portal, but that helps. Yes, this is way too chaotic to even bother with the lock on them. Oh. Oh, I got both of them. Sweet. So. Oh. You did. What's down here? Checkpoint reached. All right, I'm gonna have to call a stream for now. I got stuff I gotta go do, but I will be back on later. I can assure you that. 
Uh, thank you for everybody to stop by. If you enjoyed any part of the stream, feel free to follow. I will be on here regularly. Monday through Friday is about 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And Monday through Friday nights is 9 p.m. to midnight. And weekend streams are currently open given the current crisis that we are facing all around the world. But thank you for staying. Uh, thank you for following. And have a good night. Thank you. Not night, day, fuck. I'll be on later. Fuck off.